Um, I don't know if it's an upset or not. I know that we worked really hard to make sure that our message was strong and it resonated with the district and we're really grateful uh, that we won. Um, I know we didn't win by a huge majority, so we, do, we need to do a lot of work to make sure that others feel included and we look forward to hosting town halls and getting folks excited about their new senator-elect and what we can do together as a district. Well, as a three-time survivor myself, I believe women. I stand with survivors, and I believe that every woman should be believed, and uh, we should support them, and I think we need more women in leadership positions. And do you think an investigation should continue now that absolutely that do. senators are having yeah, to talk about? I absolutely about. do. So you do believe that I do. the state senate should investigate? I believe someone should investigate. I don't, I don't know who. Okay. Um, I believe someone should investigate. There's a lot of ideas out there. Um, I've been very laser focused on this race and winning and uh, being inclusive and including the whole community in this, this race. And so um, I haven't really paid attention to most of this stuff, to be honest. Um, I, I didn't have time. Uh, and I believe survivors and I, I believe that we should investigate. What we ran on is what my priorities are, which is transportation is a really big problem in our district. Um, education is something that we're really focused on as well as the housing affordability. So I've had a mortgage business for the last 14 years focused on first time home buyers. And so housing affordability and affordability in our region in general is something that we really need to focus on. As Seattle gets more and more expensive, our region is exploding and we need to make sure that we uh, look at affordability in all realms and aspects. And so I'm really looking forward to getting to work.